In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Mopeds are very popular in Europe because of their mobility, ease of operation and low cost. This article described a rolling bench test for determining maximum vehicle speed. A normal distribution with mean value 46.8 km per hour and standard deviation 1.75 km per hour is postulated. Consider randomly selecting a single such moped. In part A, we have to find the probability that maximum speed is at most 50 km per hour. So first of all, let's say that X denote the maximum vehicle speed. So x is a random variable and it denotes the maximum vehicle speed. We are given in the question that x follows a normal distribution with mean value 46.8 and standard deviation 1.75. So x is normally distributed with mean value 46.8 and standard deviation 1.75. And in part A, we have to find the probability that maximum speed is at most 50 km per hour. So that means we have to find the probability that x is less than or equal to 50. Well, this is equivalent to saying that x minus mu divided by sigma is less than or equal to 50 minus mu divided by sigma. Right? And we know that this is z. So we can write that this is equal to the probability that z is less than or equal to 50 minus 46.8 divided by 1.75 and this is equal to the probability that z is less than or equal to 1.83 and now we can see this probability from the standard normal table. So from the standard normal table, we can find that this probability is equal to 0 0.9664. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 50 is 0 0.9664. Now let's move to part B. In part B, we have to find the probability that maximum speed is at least 48 kilometers per hour. So that means we have to find the probability that x is greater than or equal to 48. Well, this is equivalent to saying that we have to find the probability that x minus mu divided by sigma is greater than or equal to 48 minus mu divided by sigma. So this is equal to the probability that z is greater than or equal to 48 minus 46.8 divided by 1.75 and this is equal to the probability that z is greater than or equal to 0 0.69. Well, using the complement rule, we can write that this probability is equal to 1 minus probability that z is less than 0 0.69 and now we can find this probability from the standard normal table. So using the standard normal table, you can find that this probability is equal to 0 0.7549. And this means the probability that x is greater than or equal to 48 is 0 0.2451. So this is all about part B. Let's move to part C. What is the probability that maximum speed differs from the mean value by at most 1.5 standard deviations? So that means we have to find the probability that x minus mu is less than or equal to 1.5 sigma and is greater than or equal to minus 1.5 sigma because the difference between x and mu could be positive or negative. Whatever the case is, it should not be greater than 1.5 standard deviation. So this is what we have to find. So this is equivalent to saying that we have to find the probability that x minus mu divided by sigma is greater than or equal to minus 1.5 and is less than or equal to 1.5. So basically I have divided this entire expression by sigma. So this is equal to the probability that z is greater than or equal to minus 1.5 and less than or equal to 1.5. And now we know that 
because z is a continuous random variable, we can write that this is equal to the probability that z is less than or equal to 1.5 minus the probability that z is less than or equal to minus 1.5. And by looking at the standard normal table, you will find that this probability is equal to 0.9332 and this probability is equal to 0.0668 and subtracting this, we get 0.8664. With this, we are done with part C as well and this is all for this question.